Westchester County, New York. Daniel is there. Daniel, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Uh, thanks, Ken, for taking my call. I really appreciate it. You bet. What's up? All right. So I, hopefully you can give me some, some things to think about. Um, I was, I, I've been working with a major corporation for 32 years. I'm 60 years old. And we just were offered a early retirement option. And I wasn't ready to retire. I'm not ready to retire, but the offer uh, is um, significant where I have to at least think about it. Yeah. Um, but I'm, um, yeah, I'm drawn between, you know, I like what I do. I'm relatively good at it. Um, and um, I don't know which way to turn. Yeah. Uh, tell me what it is you do. I'm in the insurance business. I'm an insurance broker. You're an insurance broker, and you really enjoy the work? Yes. Okay. You're, we know you're good at it. My question was, where is it at on that passion line? Uh, what do you love most about being an insurance broker? Describe for me what makes it enjoyable for you. Uh, well, we it, it, we sell different types of insurance, but um, I do like sitting down with families and getting keeping them uh, protected in different ways. There's obviously there's you know property and casualty insurance, auto insurance, home insurance, life insurance, and just making sure that if anything should happen. To, to mitigate their risk, and if anything should happen, they can continue on in their yeah. their life. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, this is a no-brainer for me. This is a very lucrative deal. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. the The only question I have is is if you take it, does it does yeah. is there some type of non compete in that same industry? Yes. Okay. Well, so I I think I think this is a no-brainer, and I think you think it's a no-brainer. Um, but you're going, Ken, what do I do? I'm 60. I'm not dead. I still want to work. And so the mm -hmm. reason I asked you the question about what you like most about what you do is because I wanted to give you the framework by which we make this decision very confidently. And by the way, the decision is to take the early retirement and take that big cash infusion and all the things that are positive. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same type of work in a different space. All right. Now here's where I'm going with that. You've got the non-compete okay. in the insurance space, but you love, this is what I wrote down. You tell me if I need to change it. I wrote down you, what you love about your job is advising and protecting families. Does that, found, does that sound sure. right? Yes. So where else can you advise and protect families and look out and guide? So that advisor guide role for not just protection, but also for flourishing. Where else could you do that in a different industry? Pick a different industry. Give me an example. I would assume uh, financial planning. Hello. You're good at planning. You're good at guiding, aren't you? Yes. You're good at connecting with people and, and building trust with them. True or false? True. Absolutely. Yeah. And so you, it would not take you a long time to get qualified to do this. But this would be an area where you can give the same service, do the same work. See, when I walk people through this uh, on the show, Daniel, you've heard me do it. That's why you called me today. I say, what do you do best? That's your talent. What do you love to do most? The work you love to do. And then what are the results that matter to you? So it's, it's for you to sit there and go, all right, if I take this early retirement, which is a massive benefit to me, but I don't want to hang up my shoes, don't want to go sit on the porch and drink sun tea eight hours a day. <laughs> uh, what, what? How else can I stay in my sweet spot? And it's using what you do best to do the work you love to do most. And what we said was advising and protecting, right? Or advising and uh, guiding, whatever, teaching, mm -hmm. consulting. Mm -hmm. It's the whole same thing. You pick whatever words you want. And the results that matter to you is either protection or flourishing. That's the, what you want to deliver to people. You want to look at the end of the day and go, I did good things today because I used what I do well to do the work of advising and guiding to then help a family flourish or to protect a family from financial ruin. That's a good day for you, isn't it, Daniel? Absolutely. All right, then. That's what you do. Say yes. Cash in, baby. Go celebrate. Mm -hmm. Take a 
well, you can't really take a cruise anymore, or can you? This is what's happened no, to our world. I just corrected myself. What's wrong with our world? We can't do anything <laughs> anymore. Anyway, the point is go celebrate. <laughs> go vacate where they won't make you wear a mask and go enjoy yourself and then plot it out while you're sitting on the beach or whatever or in the mountains by the fire or fishing or whatever it is you love to do. And allow yourself mm -hmm. to dream. What's the next decade look like? Where else can I advise? Where else can I protect? Where else can I guide? And that's the answer, man. Thank you. I you really bet. appreciate the help. Hey, man, I'm really right. proud of you. Can we celebrate a little bit? You going to celebrate tonight? I'll celebrate. We'll celebrate, yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Come on, Five man. I'll celebrate. <laughs> Listen, yeah, there we go. I want to hear it. There it is. There's a laugh. Listen, you have worked your butt off 32 years, man. And yeah. now you get to paint a new painting. It's a brand new canvas. Hang all those other canvases up. Along the wall of your mind and heart, you've helped a lot of people, haven't you, Daniel? Yes, I have. And now you're going to help. Have. And now you're going to help some more, and you're going to get paid handsomely to do it. Man, I like this. Life is good for Daniel. Can we get? Can we get an amen out there? I mean, amen. That's that. Life is good. That's that's beautiful. And folks, this is what it's really about, by the way. So, Daniel, when when I talk about stage six and seven of of the stages to meaningful work to working like no one else. Stage six is get your dream job, and stage seven is give yourself away. When you're in the dream job, it's about now expanding the dream and maximizing yourself now that you've worked so hard to get to the top of that mountain. It's not just done. It's, it's get better, dream bigger, do more. And so that's why stage seven is give yourself away. At this point, you're working not for money. You're not working for esteem. You're working for what this entire show is about, impact. Impact. When I show up and I'm in my dream job for the rest of my time on this earth while I'm working, it is all about impact, positive impact. And so Daniel represents this. He's 60, and they're giving him the, the uh, hey, if you want early retirement, we're going to pay you. And he's going, well, that's kind of great. But he was wrestling. Did you hear his mind? And I love that phone call because his mind is going, man, this is great. This is a big old chunk of change here. Woo, man, I'm 60. This is nice. But then his heart's going, whoa, 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 whoa. You really love what you do, man. We love this. We love advising families for their protection and for their flourishment. We don't want to stop doing that, do we, Brain? We don't want to just do crossword puzzles and vacate and do a bunch of buffets all the time. We don't want to do that. The head's going, I know, it's going to be really great. I'm talking about some great buffets here. I'm talking about some great trips. You had to play golf every morning. Your heart's going, yeah, I know, but it's not enough. I still want to be this person who guides families and protects them. So that was what was going on before the phone call. So what we have to show him is, hey, I think this is a wonderful tap on the shoulder to go, hey, you've earned this. It's an opportunity to paint some new canvases. Still helping, still guiding, still advising for the results that matter deeply to him, protection and flourishment. Folks, Daniel's the poster child. That's good. It's a good place to be in. And understand, that just because he's going to walk from one place doesn't mean he's leaving his sweet spot. He will stay in his sweet spot if he continues to do what he was created to do, which is use his talent, what he does best, to perform his passion, to do the work that he loves, to fulfill the mission, producing results that matter most. That's the sweet spot, folks, and it can move with you. So embrace that. 